Last week, a transgender shooter entered a Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee, killing three children and three adults. A devastating tragedy caused by a mentally ill individual who, instead of receiving help, was supported in her delusion by a society and pharmaceutical industry seeking to normalize a disorder. This is the fourth shooting in the United States by individuals identifying as something other than the biological sex. In the wake of this mass murder, instead of just condemning the killer and expressing sympathy and support for the victims, the White House publicly reaffirmed its support for transgenderism. Woke rainbow lobbyists and other transgender organizations joined in the call for the perpetrator's victimization. Even journalists blamed the Christian foundations of the school for this tragedy. Never in history has victim blaming and Christian bashing been this fashionable. Yet it is a trans movement which is turning people into terrorists who attack those who dare to speak the undeniable truth. And men can't be women and women can't be men. Meanwhile, men in dresses attacking women has also become acceptable, as seen recently during the mob attack on women's rights activist Posey Parker at the Let Women Speak rally in New Zealand. Women are becoming increasingly unsafe in a world where progressive politicians are unwilling to answer the simple question, what is a woman? Women's sports, women's changing rooms, women's safe houses, in fact, any space that traditionally was restricted to women is now open to men. And any attempt by women to push back or establish new women's only spaces is labeled as bigoted. But in these frenzied attempts by the woke rainbow lobby and gender theorists to normalize trans, the destruction of the biological category of woman is not enough. Because the adults are more likely to resist their gender ideology, they want access to the children. And this is why educational programs about sexuality often funded by institutions such as the World Health Organization and organizations that have historic links to pedophilic rights advocates and Malthusian ideologists are being taught in primary schools across the world. Now here, away from their parents, children are taught that you can choose to be a boy or a girl, how to masturbate and how to perform sexual acts. Drag queens reading stories to children at public libraries attest to the disnification of gender ideology with sparkles, glitter, sequins and over-the-top outfits. In the Netherlands, there's even a television show in which adult transgenders have exposed their naked mutilated bodies to children for discussion. And this is how they want to normalize the sexualization of children. But there is no way that we should allow grown men living out their fetish to dress as women access to our children while doing so. We need to draw the line and keep men out of women's sports, out of women's spaces and protect our children from being lied to, from being mutilated and being experimented upon in the name of gender ideology. Now, Forum for Democracy wants to create an international alliance of parents, politicians and opinion makers to ensure that parents are informed and can take action against the indoctrination of our children. We have already received emails from across the world with sickening examples of what children are being exposed to in the name of wokeness. So join our movement by signing our petition at protectourchildren.eu. Let's draw the line and return to normality.